Hey everybody, Chris Schaefer with Potsky Outdoors. Today we're coming to you from Northern California. And when I mean Northern California, I mean Northern California. We're only about maybe 30, 45 minutes from the California Oregon border on the lower Klamath River. Almost can touch Redwood National Park and it's one of the best places for summer steelhead fishing in the Western United States. We're gonna hop aboard with Mick Thomas of Lunker Fish Trips today, grab a little natural brax of fire cured roe. You really coat them heavy and see if we can catch some steelhead. We're gonna be fishing at the Blue Creek drainage. And the reason we go there this time of the year in July is because the river's starting to warm up and we have extremely cold water coming out of the Blue Creek drainage. 25 minutes from Crescent City, maybe an hour north of Eureka right now. It's a stunning place. You might only be a mile or two from Highway 101, but the scenery changes tremendously. You'll have bald eagles, you'll have osprey, you'll have bears. Klamath River Steelhead. Woo! It's a nice one. Yeah, baby. Fish on. Look at this. We got a double. Here we go. Triple hookup. Triple hookup. We get a good concentration of salmon and steelhead mix. Yeah, baby. Concentrating there on their move up the migratory route into uh, the Trinity River. What's great about the Lower Klamath River? is you can catch a lot of numbers of fish here and if you come before salmon season starts the crowds aren't that big now if you come august late august into september there'll be a lot more people here come during the summer you might have the place all to yourself beautiful Klamath river steelhead pretty fish that's my nice fish today we're going to be using mainly boraxo fire cured roe we caught some ocean salmon yesterday down in Eureka, California. Cured it last night. First cast, you watch the results. I ain't kidding you, this stuff is like gold right here. Now, oh, is that with fire cure or bor the borax no, fire? Borax no, borax Those eggs are fresh out of the ocean yesterday. Yesterday. I told you that pot bait first cast. Uh. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Oh yeah. But this time of the year, the steelhead seem to pick up on the natural legs just a little better. It seems like they're more partial to it. Oh, he's running on you. The red bait, we use a little more here on the Klamath River for salmon. You catch an occasional steelhead, but mainly the natural baits at this time of the year for these summer fish are just flat. Klamath River is noted for mossy bottom at this time of the year. So the smaller bait with the pup bowl will make it real buoyant and keep it floating above the bottom so you're not picking up all that moss. It's actually up in the strike zone a little better too instead of dredging on the bottom underneath the fish's belly. Oh, well, we got some hookups going on here. <laughs> Another double. That's a wild steelhead? Yeah. Yeah! Nice, baby. Ooh, look at that one. Yeah! Ooh, that's a good one, Chris. Ooh, that's a good fish. Oh, yeah, that's a dandy. Yeah! Nice, baby. Beautiful.